So great to welcome back. My name is again Ms. Hanin and I welcome you to the visual art class. Let me introduce you to theme two. The central idea is experimenting with colors, length, texture, and form and create harmony in different artworks that express various moods and emotions. During this unit, how we express ourselves, we will be talking about a lot of emotions and how can we express them using lines and shapes and colors. We will be focusing on the key concepts, form, function, and connection. We will use the real concept of expression and composition as we will compose an artwork. And we will so we will express through using colors and line and texture. Using the IBLP Inquirer, thinkers reflective during this theme. The ETL we will be focusing on is make unexpected or unusual connections between objects and ideas. During these weeks, we will be learning how colors can be classified. Of course, there are families of colors. If you think a little bit about it, you will discover that they are warm and cool colors. But what are warm and cool colors? If we imagine that we are putting our hands on a fire, what are the colors of the fire? Yes, they are yellow, orange, and red. If you go to a trip and sit on the grass and look at the sea view, what are the colors you're viewing? It's true, they're green, blue, and purple. They make you feel cool. What is the relationship between colors and emotions? So what do you think the relationship between your emotions and colors? Do you think whenever I feel hungry, then I feel I'm blue? Or if I'm sad, then I feel blue? If I feel happy, it's green, or it might be purple, or it might be orange. Is orange a color that represents whenever you're afraid or whenever you're happy? We will be learning about emotions and how they're related to colors. How can artists align their artwork? So you guys are learning about how do artists align their artwork on a paper. So we have three alignments. One is a background, the other one is a middle ground, and the other one is a foreground. The three alignment makes you organize your paper. Let me introduce the artist, Wassily Kandansky. He is a Russian artist that he draws different abstract art. We will be learning about him during our theme. He draws different things. He uses shapes, lines, and texture to come up with his artwork. As you guys can see on your right, his artwork contains of what shapes? It's true. It's circles. He does not also draw shapes only, but if you can look underneath it, he draws landscapes. So we will be learning about him and his artwork. Things you'll see during art class, you're gonna use a paintbrush, colors, pencil, pencil colors, watercolors, oil pastel, and cardboard and pen, pencil and papers. I can't wait to see you. Great two learners.